For temperatures, definitely drawing people outdoors to enjoy the Boise foothills. But recent wet weather has left the trails marked with mud. Karen Lair looked into how hikers may be causing damage to Boise's beloved pathways. Michelle, the first glimpse of spring like weather has hiking written all over it. But Ridge to Rivers leaders say hitting the trails could actually create irreversible damage. They're really muddy. Super muddy. We kept sliding, but it made it more fun. This group of resilient hikers decided to take on Table Rock today, despite signs noting muddy conditions. We tried to go around the best we could, but there's times when we couldn't. We go around it, half because we like our Nikes and half because we like the trails. But veering off to the edges and going around mud in the center of tracks can actually cause erosion. As people walk to the sides of the mud because they don't want to walk in the mud, our, our trails grow, they get wider, we lose what's actually truly a trail, they turn into small roads. Ridge Star Rivers officials will actually rope off trailheads if they think they're too muddy for hikers to continue. Not necessarily closing the trail, but encouraging hikers to take a minute to reconsider whether that trail is the best option. Some foothills trails are sandier and a safer option in wet weather, but clay based tracks can cause serious mud. My mom told me not to go on the trails because they were muddy today, and I did. <laughs> But the chain barely slows down some hikers determined to head up the mountain. <laughs> they don't want us to hike on the muddy trails. It's, it's like a, everybody knows not to go on the trails when it's muddy. Ridge to Rivers program manager David Gordon says staying away from muddy trails will help ensure the adored pathways will stay for generations to come. The trail will be in better shape. It won't turn into clumps of mud. The trailside vegetation has a chance to come back. You know, instead of people walking on it and killing it and widening the trails, uh, the trails will remain narrower. Every day, Ridge to Rivers officials post trail conditions on their website and their Facebook page, including recommendations on which trails to avoid and which ones are safe to hike. We'll have a link to their webpage on IdahoOnYourSide.com. Live in studio, I'm Karen Lair, today, 6 on your side.